Well, global compliance management is basically helping organizations run their tax function globally. So if you're a headquartered company here in Chicago, you may have uh, operations all over the world. Well, you need to file taxes in all of those locations. And as you grow over time, you may have had one big four provider doing it in one country, a local provider in another, a regional provider in another, and that becomes inefficient over time. It becomes expensive and it's not done effectively. So organizations are moving towards the idea of using a single provider to manage all of their global compliance tax functions. And the global compliance can be corporate income tax, indirect tax, statutory accounting, bookkeeping, even sometimes a little bit of payroll, because it may not it may be too small for ADP, but they need to pay people in the locations where they are. You, they need to pay their taxes locally. They need to do their work efficiently in all wherever they're operating globally. And having a local provider might not be the best solution for an organization that's public, growing, and acquiring. So it's not just managing your compliance function today, it's managing what you think your organization is going to look like in 24, 36, five years down the road. So you have to have a function to be able to manage that type of Work. If you're the CFO, you definitely want to make sure your taxes are paid in all the countries that you're operating in. You may not be concerned what the tax return looks like, but you certainly want to make sure it's been filed and it's been filed professionally and on time and that they have access to that information. That's another piece of it, is if you're a growing corporation, you, want, you may want to see your tax return for your office in Portugal in 2013. And using a provider or getting organized in that function allows you to do that. Shared services is when we take a variety of variety of administrative functions and are brought into a centralized resource to manage it more effectively and efficiently. It's sometimes in one location, but it could be in multiple locations strategically across the globe would do it. Uh, shared services can be any kind of administrative task, in, in task including payroll, uh, income tax issues, uh, indirect tax, anything that is kind of administrative in nature that has a bulk uh, implementation that's required to it, that falls under shared services. There's often a very large change management issue that goes on with shared services, which is taking exi existing administrative functions and moving it to a separate location where people just focus on doing that uh, for the term of the engagement or whatever they're involved in. So it means moving responsibilities around within a global organization. And that's a big issue, is shared services are all administrative tasks, but they're very important to making the company effectively move going forward. So if it doesn't go into effect, you may not get paid in time. Your taxes may not be delivered within the jurisdictions you're in. Uh, all these administrative functions that keep a company running, if you don't set up and implement their shared services appropriately, they stop or they're done inappropriately. The biggest hurdle is not investing enough time to get it actually running. Everybody wants shared services, but it's a time commitment to get it started, and you need some expertise in doing that. Uh, just because you may be a good tax professional doesn't mean you're good at running a shared service center. So they're often looking for skill sets and setting up shared service centers with people that have experience in change management, have experience with implementing these types of engagement and running them long term.